Do do. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in set number four uh, of the series, but set number one of the StarCraft Two best of three, and it looks like the first player out for Samsung Con is going to be none other than the rookie hero from season one, Turn. Um, who, yeah, as I said uh, in in reality's game, you know. Uh, he started off as, as one of the rookie players and basically by showing some amazing games became uh, became the Terran star of Khan. I mean he, he even earned himself an interview with Toss Girl. That's right, Toss Girl was on him for a day. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, he's going to be playing a TVT it looks like against Light. Actually, assuming that uh, neither of them changed races, which I don't think they did. But anyway, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a TVT, and it's gonna be on Antigua Shipyard. And let me change my overlay to reflect the current state of the game. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just gonna make it zero zero. It's so confusing. Like I, I'm never really sure what score I should put because it's not actually zero zero. Like Khan is ahead in the series. But I don't know. It's so it's so hard to like make the overlay in this format. It's really weird. Actually, I'm gonna pay attention to what the Korean guys are doing. Yeah, see, they they put it at zero zero. So whatever, I'll just do that. Anyway, here we go. It's the first set of StarCraft Two. Now, before we get all those complaints about the quality, guys, I'm streaming in 720p. I'm streaming in widescreen. The reason it's shitty quality is because of eSports TV, because of OGN. They are actually using 4.3 to observe StarCraft 2, and they are actually, uh, the vaults are actually in 480p. If their vaults are in 480p, it's not my fault. Alright? Alright, so... You can complain, but I actually can't do anything about it. I've improved my stream as much as I can. Um, I mean, what I'm watching is just as blurry as what you guys are watching. I've actually been trying to think of how I might like fix this like I don't even like I mean does, does any like the because even the live stream is not high quality like when I did the live broadcast of opening day it was in 360p it was like even worse quality but I don't know if like I actually have access to a direct stream from OGN so I don't know if that would be higher quality or not and maybe I should just like try and record the live thing by myself I mean it's just this is really weird wait OGN streams in 720p no they don't Oh, oh, it's eSports, oh, but eSports TV, like, restreams in 360p. Okay. The latest live stream was HD. Well, the VODs are not in HD, so... I guess, I guess that's another argument in favor of me, uh, rebroadcasting live. To get a higher quality stream. Actually, yeah, you know what, you know what? I might, so, so tomorrow I'm just gonna do rebroadcast as usual. By the way, it looks like Command Center first for, um, for turn. I believe Turin is the red Protoss here, uh, Light is the blue Protoss. Light, by the way, actually scouted that 12 o'clock, scouted his third base at the 12 o'clock for proxies. Um, because, of course, uh, Antigua Shipyard does have forced cross spawns, so it's essentially a two player map, uh, the WCS version of it. And now Light is actually going to see the command center first build from Turin, so let's see how he's going to respond. It looks like he was just going for a 1 Rax expand build himself, so I'm not really sure if he's going to be able to punish this. Um, as you can see, there he is, making his own command center. And give me a second, guys. I just like knocked this little bit of paper off my microphone. Um, if you guys weren't here at the beginning, there's like a really bright red LED light on top of the microphone. That's a little bit annoying. So I'm like covering it with a bit of tissue using my ghetto <laughs> ghetto patching methods. It looks like uh, light's gonna respond by taking a double gas. I wonder if he's gonna go for some fast banshees to try and uh, you know uh, catch up economically by doing some banshee harassment. Um, possibly even cloak banshee harassment. We shall see. And actually, every time I adjust my chair, this thing falls off, so I'm just gonna ignore this for a while. Hopefully, I don't get uh, too distracted. But whoa, what is this? Looks like a bunker rush going down here at the expansion. One marine here and one SCV making a bunker, but it looks like he might not actually even let this finish. He's not actually continuing to build it. Uh, and yeah, it looks like this was just a bit of a scare tactic. Yeah, just gonna cancel that. The first marine of light does get out in time, so uh, interesting choice there. And I, I like the fact that Turn didn't overreact to that. He only pulled like two or three extra SCVs there. 
Um, I think Light was hoping that he'd just pull like, you know, 10 SCVs and just be like, holy shit, it's a bunker! And then lose a ton of mining time, which would make it worth it. Uh, you know, it's funny, because like in Brood War you see that so much in TVZ. Um, I think you actually see that in StarCraft 2 as well, where you just have like the fake bunker at the front to force the Zerg to pull drones, but then you just cancel it and you don't do anything. And the Zerg's just like, oh, I just lost like a ton of mining time for nothing. Uh, but anyway, looks like, yep, there's a factory, and there's a reactor on the barracks. Uh, I wonder if he's, he's going to switch that out and make some Hellions, that would be quite funny. Be quite cool. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to make some, uh, react, do some reactor Hellion shenanigans. Now, I wonder if he's going to try and go for a Hellion run by, because of course there is going to be that bunker at the front of Turn's base. So, you can't, like, directly attack it with Hellions, or at least not cost efficiently, I don't think. But he can definitely go for a run by, and I don't know if Turn will have enough units to deal with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just going to be pumping out some Marines here. Uh, yeah, he's got three barracks with one tech lag. Blah, blah, blah. Te tech lab. Jesus. What did I just say? Did I just say, like, tech lag? Yeah, we got some high tech lag going on here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like Turn is actually the one who is controlling the center Zelnaga watchtower there. Got the uh, little mariner guy. Just checking out what's going on. Ow. Sorry. I actually, like, this is like this giant gash on my thumb. Because, um, <laughs> because it's like this new microphone that I'm using, right? I act it just arrived this morning, and I was so excited while opening the box that I inadvertently, like, cut open my finger instead of the box. So that's not ideal. But... I mean, you know, it, it it was actually very very reminiscent of like me trying to micro a reaver, you know. Like when I go for reavers in PVT, I just end up doing more damage to myself than to the opponent, and that's basically what happened here. I just like I tried to cut open this box to get my new microphone out, and I just did more damage to my finger than the box. But what are you gonna do? Boxes are pretty imbalanced. Uh, anyway, it looks like some some crazy uh, add-on switching there going on in in Light's main base. Looks like he's put his barracks back on the reactor, so gonna do some. I mean, it looks. I'm pretty sure both players are just going to go for the standard marine tank. That's what it's looking like so far. Uh, the siege mode and the first siege tank are already on the way for light. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Although it looks like. No, he's actually going to go build another reactor. So there's a, a reactor already there. And light's like, well, you know what? That reactor, it's already been used. You know, I don't want secondhand goods here. So I'm just going to go make, a, make another one. That's a pretty picky barracks. Yeah, I don't... Wait, why Why is he not actually using that reactor? Is he going to build, like, another barracks there? Man, that is really weird. <laughs> that is... That is that's kind of... That's kind of curious. Uh, anyway, it looks like... Uh, actually, this factory is not being used yet. He's going to go land it at the uh, natural... It looks like Turn actually might be going for pure bio here, and whoa! The first Cloak Banshee getting picked off. Um, but yeah, I mean, we see it's going to be reactored... Uh, the, the starboard is reactored here, and he's got like five barracks and no add-on on his factory, so it's definitely looking like a pure bio build from Turn, which is very, very interesting. Nowadays, the standard is bio mech, but you know, in the past, uh, gun pure bio actually was quite common. It's Marine Marauder, uh, same as in every other matchup. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how this works out. It's going to be a bit of a clash of styles here: pure bio versus bio mech. Um, which means that uh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna have to be a very active game from turn. I mean, in a straight up fight, the sea shanks are gonna be really effective against the the clumped up bio. So turn's gonna have to do a lot of uh, uh, like harass play, drop play, um, just abuse the mobility of his bio and the immobility of the sea shanks. And actually, I don't know if uh, Light is aware of this yet because the two additional barracks are actually at the natural. And I don't know if there's anything too indicative of anything. I mean, the factory's also at the natural, so if, if Light just scans the main base, uh, he's actually just going to see three barracks with add-ons, and it's not immediately obvious that it is going to be a pure uh, pure bio build. These these Banshees, by the way, don't seem to have done uh, too, too much damage, and the initial, you know, two Hellions that were produced didn't seem to do too much either, so it's a little bit... Interesting, and it looks like we have a drop going in here. Uh, looks like he might lose one medevac right off the bat, but it looks like a decent number of units going in, but man, Siege Tank's already in position, and this drop does not look like it's going to do very much. He's going to get a couple of SCVs here, but, well, actually, he did clean up the Siege Tanks in the main base as well. Where are the rest of the units? Does Light just not have any units? One Cloak Banshee coming in, but wow, he's actually losing a lot of SCVs here. Okay, no, two more tanks in the back there, and that should be that. Uh, looks like barely saving the Banshee as well. That did actually more damage than I thought, but it did cost turn a lot. That was four almost full uh, medevacs there, and he lost everything in that drop. 
However, of course, uh, it is much easier to reproduce pure bio than, uh, than bio mech. Or actually, it looks like Light is planning to go for pure mech here. Yeah, actually, my mistake. I, I thought he was making more marines, but actually he's got uh, now three factories. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like he's actually going to be pure, bi pure bio versus pure mech here. Uh, Hellion tank and Viking, it looks like. There's the, the reactor starport for uh, Light as well versus um, Mathematic Marine. Interestingly, the third command center was has been finished for a while now for Light, but of course, since he's going for mech play, uh, he has to be very careful on how quickly he takes it. Like, he can't actually move out, his, out of his base to take his third just yet, because, uh, you know, without a solid number of siege tanks, like, he'll just get ripped apart by the bio force. So he's going to be very, very careful. So even though the third command center is just now going down for turn, he might even be able to expand to his third quicker than Light can. Uh, but of course, having that extra command center early on does allow uh, Light to get the extra uh, mules and whatnot. So it's not the end of the world for him. Meanwhile, just more uh, barracks being added on, and more starports as well. Look at this! He's actually added on two more starports. What is he doing with this? He's actually getting cloaked banshees of his own here. It looks like he actually wants to uh, to take control of the air and then use some uh, some banshees to start sniping down siege tanks and and whatnot. It's gonna be very interesting because Light actually only has a single starport with a reactor, but now. Uh, Turn of, Turn, of course, has his own starport with the reactor, excuse me, that he was making, uh, blah, 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 using to make his medevacs, and now he's got two more. One is going to be used for banshees. If he uses the other ones to, to make vikings as well, he will be able to overwhelm the single starport viking production of light, and then without any vikings in the air for light, that's, that's going to be very uh, bad news. Um, He's going to have to rely on his Thors for anti-air to protect his tanks from the Banshees. Uh, but then he's going to also lack the spotting that the uh, the Vikings would provide him because, of course, Sea Shanks can shoot farther than they can see, so you always want something uh, leading out uh, to, to spot for them and make sure you can use your maximum range. And usually that is Vikings. Interestingly, one Marine going to delay this expansion a little bit but, uh, but get roasted there by those Blue Flame Hellions. And so I'm curious, because the thing is also, these starports are being added at the natural, so if Light just scans the main base, again, he's really not going to get a good sense of what's going on, and if he doesn't react appropriately, um, this very nice move by turn could actually, could actually just win him the game. It's like sensor, going, ugh, sensor tower going down for Light, very, very important, of course, he, uh, he wants to get uh, as early a warning as possible about any incoming drops or, or, or attacks or, or anything like that, because, of course, how immobile his mech army is. Although having said that, like people always say the mech army is immobile, but you know the, the Hellions are still pretty fast. So you know it's not like you're completely stuck. Um, it's just your tanks and your and your um, blah, 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 Thors. Almost like Goliath there. I was trying to think of the word. Anyway, it looks like a little slight there by the Vikings of turn is gonna poke around a bit, but a uh, Hellion drop going into the main base for Blue Flame Hellions here. Let's see how good the reaction time of turn is. Uh, looks like most of the ACVs have actually been pulled, I think, already. There's only two in the mineral line there, so uh, a bit of a disappointing catch for these Hellions. Look, he's actually left one Hellion in the main base, the other three giving chase to those couple of SCVs, but really not doing a lot of damage there. Um, although, you know, Hellions are pretty cheap anyway, so it's not a big deal. And it looks like the rocks at the third base there have been broken, but the tanks have sieged up, so he's not going to be able to attack into that. The Vikings... Coming in, sniping a medevac, but it looks like the Hellions moving into the third base here are going to start roasting some SCVs. He's not paying attention. He's not chasing them. Oh my god, they're all lined up, but the Hellions don't chase the SCVs. They just attack the command center. Light was not paying attention there, failing a little bit in his multitask and just missing a beautiful opportunity to roast an entire mineral line of SCVs. Oh my goodness, there was no splitting at all from turn. He just ran them all in a line. I think I think that's also just showing a bit of inexperience there. You should you should not be <laughs> you should not be lining them up. This is not Brutor. These the Hellions, man. They will just roast those SEVs. I uh, would have expected to see a little bit more splitting on those SEVs, but you know he didn't get punished for it. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like I mean it's very interesting. So Light, you know, even though he's the mecking player, he's doing uh, his own harassment with the Hellions and whatnot, doing a very good job. Um, but he can't really move out until he has a decent-ish supply. I'm actually trying to look at what the supply is on the VOD, and it's hard to tell. I think it's like 180 to 160-ish? I don't know. And one random Reaver is actually running out on the map. Presumably that's just going to jump into uh, Light's main base and just get a scout off. Maybe pick off a couple of gas SCBs just to be annoying, but it's not like one Reaper is going to do that much. It's pretty weird to see it at this stage in the game. Meanwhile, a 4th Command Center being built for a uh, turn here. 
probably going to float that over to the 9 o'clock expansion and take that. And, oh no, it looks like the Reaper just jump, is just actually just going to fly around and look for expansions. It looks like we might have a big engagement here in the middle of the map. The tanks are sieging up, but it looks like Turns is going to engage anyway. I don't know if this is the best idea. He's just engaging. Uh, he gets a decent arc off, but there's still a lot of siege tanks in the back. The Thor's in the front tanking the damage. All the Hellions, I think, have gone down, but there's SCVs as well. And Light crushes the army of turn here. I mean, that's what happens when pure bio goes up against pure mech in a straight up engagement. The bio just gets eaten alive. I'm really surprised that he decided to commit there. I can't believe it. I mean, I would have thought he would just try to run around to a counterattack or something or wait to get a better flank, a better position, but just, I mean, he had an okay-ish arc. There's just way too many siege tanks though. And the uh, and the mech army was in good position with the Hellions in the front, you know, it was the tanks were sieging up in good time, and, and now uh, the mech army is pushing in to Etern's base, and I don't know if he's going to be able to reproduce fast enough to stop this. The SCV train just going in here, look at this light, with the SCV assault on the third base, he's actually got to not fight with those, he, he wants to keep those alive to, uh, to repair with. This <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really hilarious. Look at that SCV on SCV action. But GG, turn, doesn't even try. He realizes that he's not going to have enough. And that is it. Light taking down turn here with some nice mech TBT against uh, turn's bio style. So, Wounded Stars goes up 1 0 in this StarCraft 2 best of 3. So let us go on to the next set. <coughs> do, 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 do. <coughs> don't read the chat, Sale. Why not? Why don't I read the chat? Oh wait, there's an ad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 